Hello, all you colorful cornucopias. Welcome to another episode of What You Packin'. We are here with Dawn. Hello. Dawn. How are you? Where are you from, Dawn? I am from Brooklyn, but originally Raleigh, North Carolina. Are you actually from Raleigh? Yeah, I was born in Rex Hospital in Raleigh. Wow. Went to school 15 minutes from my mom's house. Went to college 15 minutes from my school. It's just all. What'd mm. you go to college for? What's your major? I went to NC State University for computer science. Oh, nerd. Yeah, yeah. I a love it. A little bit. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Have you done anything with your computer science degree? I have a job. Oh. So what I do with my computer science degree is I pay my bills. Right. Smart. <laughs> and that's about it. And yeah. I pay for this. <laughs> Smart. Are you close with your family? Absolutely. They are Dawn's biggest fans. They're my biggest fan. They're my best friends. I swear to God, I call my mom every day. I love her. It, that was like the hardest part about being on the show is that I couldn't talk to my mom. How old are you? 25. I love every minute <laughs> of hearing this. Yeah. That is beautiful. Don't ever stop that. I won't. As a mom, it's the best feeling in the world because we know we did something right. Do you have siblings? <laughs> yes, I have a brother and he is like my best friend. Oh, I Dawn! I know, it's so funny because when I talk about like my best friends, it's like, well, my brother and my cousin and my other cousin, and, like throw my mom in there too, my dad. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's really lovely. You are lucky. I know. So how did Dawn come to life? How was she born? Oh, the birth of Dawn, what a time that was. Yes? I was in college and I didn't come out of the closet until I was 19 in my freshman year. I have this friend and he was like, oh, well, if you're gay, you need to watch Drag Race. Cause he was, That's he'd been out friend. for years. Good yeah, friend. and it was, it was while season nine was airing. And I think the first episode of this show that I ever watched was when Valentina kept her mask on. Ah, good what, one. I know, what a one to start with, right? Yes. Season five was the first one that I watched all the way through. And I remember watching it in my dorm room and just like my life changing in front of my eyes. Like Alyssa Edwards, Roxy Andrews. It's like it was season. to the point where I just kind of started like playing with makeup. What year would that be? 2018. That's not a very long time ago. No. You are so good at painting. Oh, thank you. You really are. Well, I have like an illustration background. Like, I, yeah. There we go. I grew up as an, like, a, like an artist and I, it was actually like a thing where when I went to college, I wanted to do that. Job Makeup security, or? Engineering. No, no, like drawing, like yeah, uh, art. fine art. Yeah, exactly. Right. And everyone's like, no, 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 you need like job security, like engineering, right? What do they know? Exactly. What do they know? <laughs> <laughs> And where do yeah. um, elf ears come into the picture? You know what, that's a good question. You I, knew I was gonna ask. Well, yes, it was the moment. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember when they started, but once it did, it never stopped. And for the <laughs> for record, that. I love it. No, 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 I know. And I never felt like you didn't. Good. Yeah, no, 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 not at all. Good. When I got to the show, I was in like a little bit of like a funk makeup wise. Okay. Because like I love my paint and I think it's oh, like a fierce stamp, too. right? But I was doing the same thing over and over again and I was having trouble figuring out ways to like adjust it but keep it true to me. And when you told me to change it, I was like, it, we're going, we're doing it. And to this day, it has changed the way that I paint. And do you love it? And I love it. I love it. The critique never felt like you didn't like what I was doing. You were just Loved like, it. what else can you do? That's, what else can you do? <laughs> <laughs> and I showed you. You did. Now, when you got the call, mm -hmm. did you freak out? We were I, like, how is this happening? Do I you need Dawn from Raleigh. Me, Dawn from Raleigh? <laughs> I got that phone call on that night, and I like was sobbing, crying, and the person on the other line was like, uh-huh, okay, oh, stop. I know, stop. Oh, I know. And I was like, and just like, <gasps> I'm just mad. Like, oh, you're lying, you're lying. It was crazy. Aww. Um, and my, my boyfriend was recording me after, while I was getting the call, and then. Earthquake? Okay. What? There was an earthquake, did you not feel that? No, just now. Are we good? It's still happening. Are we good? It's an LA person getting, I'm, at, I'm a New York. I'm from New York, I don't like this. Me too. It's happening right now. It's done now. You felt it? Yeah, bitch, I was shaking. I was not. And then I saw the things. Oh, yeah. yeah. What? You didn't feel it, Dawn? We just had that moment together. We had a moment. <laughs> okay, so that earthquake was your first earthquake. Yes, very And bad. how are you feeling? Um, I did not like it one bit. <laughs> I was like, where's the door? What is the protocol here? I am from the East Coast. Oh my goodness. I don't know how that I works. I am too, that's why I'm like, earthquake? Normally I think you're supposed to run and hide, but nonetheless, we're, <laughs> we're East here. Coast, so. Do you remember what I was talking about? Um, I don't. 
<laughs> no! <laughs> Tell me a little bit about how you prepared for this season. Before I even got the call, I had spreadsheets. I had like a note-taking app on my computer mm -hmm. and I made like a website, essentially, of like every single thing that I would need. Looks, reads, comedy prep, snatch, whatever. The whole nine yards, I like laid it all out. Just in case. Just in case, because I was like, listen, I'm not really doing anything right now in my life, so I'd rather have it if I get the call than not have it if I get the call. Uh -huh. And some of my friends were like, you're an idiot. Like, you're just wasting all your time. Not that they didn't think I'd get on, but they right. were like, you haven't even gotten the call yet. Well, I was like, who's smart now? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Let's talk about the bathroom challenge. Why? Oh, I, I don't want to. No, I'm just kidding. Well, you know. I actually did really, really love that challenge. And it was fun. Yes. It just, you got steamrolled by the wind we call Nymphia. <laughs> Correct? And I, and I love my sister. Yes. <laughs> but that was some bull <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> No, I actually do. Like that day on set when we were like painting the rooms and like putting all the furniture out and stuff was my favorite day. That's because you're an artsy. Yes, it was fun. It was silly. Like, and all of us being like right next to each other in the rooms. And these are some like stupid, annoying girls on this cast with me. <laughs> and we were just having Fun. I love that. The actual day of the challenge, less fun right. for me. Right. But I'm not upset to have that be my last. My you last. You shouldn't stand. be, because you know you went out on a high. Yeah. It actually was good. I hope you're proud of Thank yourself. You. I am. I am very, very happy with how I did. I know I. I didn't score any wins. Yeah, but whatever. you were never Bad. in the bottom. Right. Like, and you always towards the top. Good job. Just a good job the whole way through. I was like, okay, fierce. <laughs> Let's talk about some of these looks now. I would love when to. you think to put a look together, I'm assuming. Because you are so you and artsy in the way you are, yeah. your stamp has to be on everything. Oh, absolutely. Do you draw it all yourself? Yes. And yes. do you have people that you work with? Before the show to now, the process is the same. I design every single thing that I wear. Okay. I have like pictures of myself that I sketched over it because like to make sure the proportions are right with everything. Digitally. Pencil. Yeah, digitally. Got it. And before I got on the show, I made every single thing that I wore. Like So every... you sew as well? Yes, I sew, I hot glue, you know, preparing for the show. There's not, there's not enough time for that. No, I know, you, no, you, I get it. Yeah, and so working with people to make things for me, I actually did that for the first time getting ready for the show. And let me tell you, having to hand those designs away to someone else, it was like- Were you scared? I was horrified. Yeah. Horrified. In case they f***ed up. Exactly. Your aesthetic is amazing and fun and funky. There was one where you had the most going on. Oh, I think it was that one, but I had zebra print on with it. I knew that there was something else yeah. underneath. It made sense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your aesthetic is so weird <laughs> and kooky and Lisa Frankie, but it all makes sense. It's fashion. And when you said that to me, I felt so like validated in that mm -hmm. moment because I obviously love my style, but coming to the show, like I didn't know if you would get it. I didn't know if it would translate, right? And sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes it doesn't. But hearing that and knowing that I was wearing this absurd bull like it was crazy. And I don't know if you did this on purpose, Michelle, you were eyeing me on that runway that night. And I was like, oh no, she hates it. <laughs> She's gonna read me to filth. And it was the girl group, I never done choreo before. And I was like, oh no. And then you said you loved it. Did you make any of these with your yes, hands? Yes, I made the 80s one. And that one was really fun because I struggled so much with 80s, like conceptually. How? Well, because I'm stupid. It's and a I, gift. I, no, no, I know. It but literally writes itself. I'm like bad with references a little bit. Oh, okay. Which I think, I remember Nymphie was reading me for that one day. She was like, you just do whatever you want to do. You don't, you don't like even refer to anything. Not a research has been done. And I was like, oh yes, kind of. <laughs> but if I said Charmander, you'd know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> different references, different strokes. I didn't know how my aesthetic fit into the 80s. Mm. And then I realized that there's this whole f***ing like punk rock glamour rock wave. Yeah, Rue loved that. Rue loved that I, one. I didn't love it as much. You did not, but Rue loved that loved one. Loved it. And so yeah. I was like, okay, I'll take it. You should. Thank you. She's the mother. <laughs> She's the mother. And this one right here was yes. the reveal yourself. Yes, it was. And do you like a reveal? I love it. And I, I love that one because I think it's like the perfect conglomeration of my like, kind of like, it's a little kooky and weird, mm -hmm. but it is also very stylish. And what I love very about you is that you always show your figure. Yeah. You get your body in there. There's like three things in my drag that must be there. It's the face, the waist, and the seven inch heels. You do not ever F up your silhouette. No. Even when you're wearing fluffy, puffy, you never, you are so smart mm -hmm. with it. I just think it's brilliant. Thank you so much. I loved everything that you did. 
I just think you are a special, special kid. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you're just in the beginning of your journey. People are gonna fall in love with you, not only the fandom, but beyond. Mm -hmm. It's only gonna get crazier. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Buckle up, kid. You are a superstar. Thank you so much. Thank you, Michelle. And thank you guys for joining me for another episode of What You Packing. I'll see you next time. Mwah. Bye. But the elf ear thing. Okay. Yes. You know, like we all snatch our faces up with the eyeliner and stuff, but yours, it snatches, <laughs> it just it brings snatches it up more. the face. You're young, you don't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs>